Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Tonight we're just going to have some ribs. We've had a break in the heat. I found a small bag of red and uh, baby new potatoes in the fridge. So along with our barbecue ribs tonight, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you my ribs. You've seen it before. But I am going to make my favorite style of potato salad. All right. I've got about four cups of diced potatoes here. And I'm just going to bring these to a boil with a little bit of salt. And uh, I'll be back with the homemade mayonnaise and fixings. Okay, our potatoes are just about done. You don't want them too soft. Now I'm going to drain them and rinse them and chill them in the fridge. All right, I just made some pickled eggs. And these are the eggs that were too fresh to properly peel. So I'm just going to, this is the way my mother used to cut pastry. Now this is not a fancy recipe folks, it's potato salad. It just happens to be my potato salad. There's our eggs. The casserole bowl looks a little big, but better big than too small. We're going to drop our potatoes in there. Remember, I like nice big chunks of potatoes. We're going to drop our eggs in here. This equals about four eggs. Here of course is some of my fresh made Mrs. Wolfie's mayonnaise. That would normally be a regular potato salad, but I like some vegetation in mine. Well, I mean, of course, usually everybody puts onion in their potato salad. This chopper works better if you cut your onions in half. We're gonna add our onion. Now we're going to do a sweet red pepper. Anybody who doesn't like green peppers because they give them heartburn, try going to the sweet peppers because they're much easier uh, on your digestive system if you have a heartburn issue with green peppers. Just throwing in a red pepper because that's what I got. I'm gonna throw in some cucumber just because this is the only side dish we're having with our rib dinner tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some English cucumber. I love my chopper, folks. I really do. So this is really, you know, potato salad for us used to be potatoes, onions, and mayonnaise. And a little bit of paprika on top. But these days, I like lots of vegetable matter in my uh, potato salad. Now for the secret ingredient, we're going to add about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. We don't need a lot of uh, seasoning because of it's my homemade mayonnaise and it's really nicely seasoned. But we're going to do a little bit of black pepper and just a sprinkle, just a sprinkle of celery seed. Celery seed is really good for gout folks. So if you can put celery or celery seed in your diet on a daily basis, you'll never have gout. Now we're just going to stir this all together. All right, remember my decoration? Just in case this wasn't pretty enough, we're just going to put some thin slices of red pepper on top. If you have some fresh parsley, that would look pretty too. And there we go. Mrs. Wolfie's Deluxe Potato Salad. We'll see you when Papa tries it out. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get Papa to the table. All right, before you get into the ribs, you have to taste the potato salad. Hungry, dear? And on goes the pepper. Pepper on everything. He makes us wait. Okay. Don't talk with your mouth full. Very good. Awesome. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, potato salad deluxe. You don't need any other salad when you got lots of vegetables in it. Take care.